How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Shadowverse Evolve video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today we're going to be opening up a booster box of Cosmic Mythos. This is technically the fourth Shadowverse Evolve set, or maybe fifth if you count Uma Musume. This one is in Japanese and is the upcoming set that is going to be released in English next month. And I just could not wait. I could not wait. This set is so cool. I really want to open up some cards and experience it. Once the English version releases, we'll be opening an entire case, but for now, we'll be, we will be opening a single box. Starting to mumble the words because I'm getting too excited for this. This set introduces some of my favorite characters from Shadowverse as well as Rage of Bahamut. We have Israfil here, which is just, I she's absolutely one of my, my top characters. I just love the angels in this kind of, uh, in, in the Psy Games universe, and Israfil is one of my favorites. But we also have stuff like Mars. Huge, huge fan of Mars. We have the return of, of uh, Medusa and Sybil uh, return or becoming a card here in Shadowverse is great. She's a really good ramp card in the digital version. So I'm actually super stoked for this set. Really excited for the English launch. But until now, let's kind of just bide our time and open up this Japanese booster box of Cosmic Mythos. Let's do it. All right, let's do this. I'm actually super, super hyped for Shadowverse. Literally, right now, in this moment, because I just watched the um, the special conference uh, announcement thing that uh, we'll likely have already done a, a whole video on that will come out either after or around the time of this posting. But dude, I'm super, super stoked. They were they showed some very cool stuff, including set five having um, God Packs. It's the anniversary set, and uh, basically you have the ability, or the, maybe the, um, if you're lucky, you can open up a pack that has every single uh, ultimate rare you are um, in the set. Like, that's so cool. And there's also serialized cards, and anyway. We'll talk about that in a whole other video. Let's open up <laughs> open up this. Pretty excited for this as well. Um, and hey, you can see a little bit, you know, a little difference than the, the English boxes. The English boxes don't have these, which, um, you know, Japanese card stores would use to hang these up, um, you know, on like the... I forget what they're called, man. It's been so long since I've worked in retail. Anyway, <laughs> let's just open this up. Um, the peg, you put them on the pegs, but there's a specific word for, for those kind of pegs. Anyway, so what am I hoping to pull here? I don't know. Um, well, no, I do know. Uh, Mars and Israfil. Uh, if you watched our um, other uh, video where we basically opened up some of this set and um, gave away some stuff. Ooh, yo, SL, let's go. Uh, this is the Evo version of this, uh, this dragon card. Um, if you watched that, ooh, gold rare, GR. Um, we opened up uh, the ultra rare version of, I'm trying to get the nomenclature right because there's like SPs and URs. I'm pretty sure they're just called URs. Um, anyway, we opened up the um, Medusa. Ooh, yo. This is another parallel version. Uh, I do remember, I think this card is a legendary in Shadowverse um, in uh, the digital version of the game. We have a one of the Code Chaos collaboration cards, and then a then another another bronze. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words because I keep thinking about all of the new announcements and stuff. There's some there's some incredible hype. I, lo I really love the art in this card. I think it's really cute. I really love the art in this card too, dude. This set is actually like a banger set in terms of art. This uh, kind of like um, uh, assassin swordcraft lady, very cool. I think this is Little Witch Lou, Emmy Lou, something like that. We have this um, ooh, double double gold pack and a fairy. Uh, there's gonna be like alternate art fairies, which I think is also very, very nice. Yeah, this this set is so cool. Um, very much, oh dude, I'm, I'm looking forward to what, uh, oh, yo, let's go. This card is super, super cool. So uh, what this card does is on Fanfare, you basically get to play another card. Or do you, do you search for it from your deck? I don't remember exactly how this works off the top of my head. But you basically, I'm, I'm, I'm looking here and trying to see what it is. But I'm pretty sure you play this and you get to play like another card. I, th I think this card is actually like really sweet. Let's put, uh, put these here. Ooh, Fenrir. It'd be cool to get a full version of her. Tornado Swip. And then uh, Owlcat. 
Okay, you know what? Let's put the uh, let's put her over here because she's slightly better, slightly better than the the regular golds. Also, she looks great. Um, yeah. Bushi Road um, Championship Series. So like the tournaments and events coming up look super sweet. The the prizing looks really cool. Ooh, we got uh, Chimera here. Pretty nice uh, like finisher for RuneCraft. Um, ooh, yo, this is another one of the um, Code Chaos collab cards and beautiful Evo Evo Elf on that one. Um, yeah. The championship series? Oh no no the the grand showdown is what I'm I'm super looking forward to. Um, I there, there's so so much cool stuff like prizes and ooh, here's another uh, I think it's the Evo version of or the the normal version of this dude. Yeah there we go. I do have uh, a case of this set on the way. Ooh beautiful as well. I mean you know it by now you watch you've seen the videos Shadowverse Evolve is someone, one of the best looking trading card games on the market, in my opinion. Um, not even in my opinion, I mean, it just looks great. If you like the anime aesthetic, this game is one of the, the best looking for sure. Um, and that's mostly because uh, Psy Games, ooh, hey, look at that, we got the double. I love I love when that happens. Uh, a lot of the art for this is from uh, Rage of Bahamut and Shadowverse, right? Uh, which had art from Rage of Bahamut. And from from Psy Games and Psy Games just has amazing artwork just just in general, um, so it uh, has a huge benefit from that. Though there are you know some unique artworks here and there. Um, I've got the Phoenix. Oh, this is the evolved version of that Assassin Lady that I mentioned earlier. Um, I don't know if this card's very good, like in constructed. Might be good for like uh, like the open eight format, but I really dig I really dig the whole like. Assassin style, and I really dig this just art style in general. Very cool. Maybe I'll try to wait, try to find a way to like shoehorn that card into one of my sword decks. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Hero Sword is still pretty strong in the in the next set meta. Um, I think Sword in general stays decent for a little while. Uh, it was really interesting watching the Japanese um, uh, championship over the last week or so. Ooh, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful card. Hey, Evo Fenrir. Because uh, Rune is like one of the big boogeyman uh, classes in the Japanese meta right now, which I think is uh, really interesting. It's uh, it's specifically Earthrite Rune. So if you are an Earthrite fan, like, oh, let's go. <laughs> we got Mars. This is uh, this is the one that I really, really want. Uh, I'm gonna get a full place out of Mars. Ooh, are we gonna get the... Uh, are we gonna get the evil version of Mars as well? Nope. Oh, that's uh, Dark Jean. This is a sick pack. So we got we got Mars here. We have a uh, SR. We have a beautiful gold. Actually, like, look at that. That looks incredible. And then we also got a Evo Dark Jean with just amazing, absolutely gorgeous artwork. Um, yeah, this is a sweet box. I'm, I'm still missing Israfil though. We have a uh, Juliet. Um, wait, Juliet's just a gold. Put her in the put her in the silver pile because I'm pretty sure she was a silver uh, in the um, in digital. More beautiful cards. Ooh, this head could not be taken, or something something to that effect. That's uh, a uh, Ektar. Ektar. That card. This card was like a absolute banger staple in digital. In fact, didn't he get nerfed or something at one point? Um, really, really good. I think he does something similar, but not quite. Like, I don't think he summons tokens like he did. Ooh, we have a parallel foil fist, fisticuffs. I'll just put that in the gold pile. Uh, we have uh, this one. This is the one that summons the, the goblin. Um, ooh, beautiful. Very, very pretty card. Any any one drop tutu uh, is like decent enough. And then if it has like a good effect, well then, there you go. There you go. I think we get some more like one drop tutus that are better in sword, which is, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm so looking forward to opening up packs of set five. We're, that's two sets away, right? Because this one is technically set three. No, no, no. This is technically set four. Um, and uh, wait, let me. I'll, I'll think. Wait, hold on. Let me think about the math. Let me think about the math. This is technically set four. Yeah. Um, ooh, very cute. 
because uh, we had set one, set two was the one with Bahamut on it, set three is the one with um, the the dragon. So yeah, this is this is technically set, set four. So yeah, the, the set after this one um, is gonna be set five, and that's the one that has all of the the super sweet stuff I was talking about, like the god packs, is gonna be in that set. I'm I'm so looking forward to it. This card's really good, by the way. Uh, very pretty gold right there. Um, yeah, I got, I got confused for half a second trying to line it all up because they also announced um, set six as well. Uh, that's going to be the one with uh, Kuan, which is very, very strong. That's where uh, Rune is going to start to become um, very good once again. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Code Geass uh, CC card. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked to open this up in English. This is our, this is our last pack. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll, we'll open uh, open up this pack and say our parting words. But um, yeah, got a case of this coming for English. Super, super stoked for it. There's a lot of awesome cards. I uh, hope I get some very sweet pulls. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for what uh, Shadowverse has installed in store. This is a pretty sweet box, actually. I got some cards that I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing around with. Like, uh, Chimera is pretty cool, but I, I really want to play with Mars. She's one of my favorites. Absolutely love Mars, both from, like, Rage of Bahamut and in, um, and in Shadowverse. She's one of the leaders that I use in, in Digital Shadowverse. And then, I can't remember her name, but she's also very, very cool. And I think very, very, very strong. Um, she can do some cool stuff. I think she could just, like, pull Aegis out. Can she get Aegis out of your deck? I don't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more Shadowverse Evolve content here on Red Zone Rogue. Absolutely loving this game. The recent announcements are so hype. Super, super excited for the rest of Shadowverse this year and beyond. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. All right, we'll see you then.